Welcome back to Fast Track. I'm Veronica Appleton with your arts and entertainment news. I'm Tony Manzo and we have a lot of hot new events this week. Though it may not entirely be out of the ordinary for college students to take clothes off, seeing over 400 students run around a college campus in their underwear is still not common campus conduct. But this week, but this week, Purdue encouraged students to boiler up and strip down for a good cause. Get set, go! Wednesday night, Purdue was a sight to behold when over 400 students ran or walked almost naked through campus. The event, which is in its third year, is the Purdue Alumni Student Experience's Nearly Naked Mile, which is how to donate clothing to local charity Lafayette Transitional Housing. Brandy Ferrer, Director of Student and Young Alumni Programs for the Purdue Alumni Association, explains where the idea came from. We got the idea at a leadership conference a couple years ago, so we wanted to bring a non-traditional community service activity to Purdue, so that's how it got started. It's grown every year. The first year, we did, um, the donations went to Goodwill, and then our student leaders of PACE decided they wanted to have the donations go to a, a local need, so we partnered with Lafayette Transitional Housing, and this is our second year with Lafayette Transitional Housing. Students are encouraged to dress down and dress up, as prizes are awarded for the best costumes. Jimmy O'Connor, a participant in the men's costume competition, discusses why he enjoys the event. You know, you get to see everybody dressing up and acting crazy around here, and in the middle of humans versus zombies and everything. It's just kind of cool everybody getting together for a common cause and getting to have fun while doing it, you know. Free snacks and games were held at the conclusion of the event for participating students. This year, a record number of students attended, and over 800 pounds of clothing were donated. Since the weather has apparently been warm enough to run around campus nearly naked, let's check with Shadi to see if we're going to be keeping our clothes off or putting them back on this week. Good day everyone, Shadia Sanders here with your local forecast. And now spring has finally sprung for the Lafayette area. We'll see that in our temperatures and our daylight hours. So we'll go ahead and start off with our almanac where we'll see that the average high for this week is 55 degrees with a low of 35. Now just last year, temperatures were significantly warmer with that high of 64. And only a few years ago, we had our record high of 81 back in 2007. For this upcoming week, we're gonna have temperatures in between the 50s and 60s, so right around average. Now for this weekend, we're gonna have our daylight extend a little bit, sunrise 7.39 a.m., sunset at 8.03. That is for Saturday. Now in terms of temperatures for Saturday, you can see most of the Midwest is gonna be in that 50s area. Now when we focus on Lafayette, we'll see that high of 59, mostly sunny for the day, with those winds out of the southeast. Now for the lows, we've got our low here in Lafayette of 46 degrees, and when we look out to the rest of the Midwest, we're going to have temperatures similar to that in the 40s. Now for Sunday, things are going to cool down a little bit. We've got our first chance of precipitation for the Illinois and Indiana area, and temperatures are going to be again in the 50s, but a little bit cooler. In Lafayette, we've got a high of 53 degrees with that chance of precipitation with our winds now out of the east. Now for the lows, a little bit cooler. 39 degrees is the low for this Sunday, and across the Midwest, we've got temp temperatures similar to that in the upper 30s, lower 40s. As we look on to our work week, we can see that 50-50 weekend, rain shower Sunday, sunny skies on Saturday, but Monday, things are going to start to dry up, a few clouds in the sky, again a high of 53, and then Tuesday, it's going to warm up again. 61 degrees for the high. Again, some clouds in the sky, but probably going to be mostly sunny. Sun, sunny. Wednesday, high 67 degrees, a very warm day for Wednesday. No real chance of precipitation that we're seeing right now. And then for Thursday, we're going to see temperatures again in the 60s. So we've got a great week coming up. That is all for this week's local forecast. I'm Shadia Sanders. Now back to the studio. Now let's check in with Sarah and Kaylin to give you something to do this weekend. Welcome back from spring break everyone. I'm Sarah Cometa. And I'm Caitlin Blackburn. Here are some upcoming events to keep you motivated for the rest of the semester. Jazz saxophonist and composer Miguel Zinan will perform April 9th at 8 p.m. in Stewart's Low Playhouse. The performance will feature traditional Puerto Rican plena music. Tickets are available at Elliott and Stewart box offices. Lafayette native and classical guitar prodigy Shikan Clavarenga is making a special hometown appearance on March 28th at 3 p.m. in the Low Playhouse of Purdue Stewart Center. All tickets are $12 and can be purchased through Elliott Hall and Stewart Center box offices. Jack Calhoun, a Purdue alumnus and president of Banana Republic, will speak about leading with vision on April 9th at 1.30 p.m. in Fenler Hall, room 241. Refreshments and an opportunity to meet Calhoun will follow the talk. 
The 23rd Annual National Rube Goldberg Machine Contest will be taking place on March 27th here at Purdue. The national and high school contests are free and open to the public. Doors open at 10 a.m. at the Purdue Armory. Purdue Band Super Jazz Jam will be holding a ladies' night on Friday, March 26th at 8 p.m. in Stewart Center's Low Playhouse. The performance is to honor the significant contributions women have made to jazz. The event is free to attend. That's all we have for this week's community calendar. Check back with us next week for new events. It's the newest, hottest thing on the internet. What is it? Why is it so popular? Jeannie Most takes a most unusual look at Chat Roulette and its newest star. Chat Roulette is the latest thing. Reclining dude in a white tank top. And the latest thing on Chat Roulette is dueling piano players. Don't be sad. Don't be sad. This is the story of how a nobody calling himself Merton became so beloved. She's gonna make hearts with her hand. That a real star, Ben Folds, up to the sky, put on a hoodie and got on chat roulette during a live concert in an ode to Merton. Is there really a, a person in there? Show your face if there is. Show your face if there is. But first, a little chat roulette 101. So this is chat roulette. I have a camera trained on me. They have a camera trained on them. You basically go from person to person chatting with strangers. And if you see someone you don't like, you click next. You run into nice people. You run into naked, creepy people. And if you're lucky, you run into Merton. She raised her eyebrows in surprise. He wants to stay anonymous. All we know is that he's from Colorado and plays improv piano. Just remember you gotta press the return key after you type a bunch of shit in there. He's been serenading chat rouletters, seducing them into typing back. <laughs> Merton told the website Mashable. It's been primarily targeted at girlfriends in the past because <laughs> my guy friends don't want me singing songs at them or about them. Semi-Italian looking. Though no, these guys didn't seem to mind. Drinking deep from the bottle. And when people mistook Merton for alternative rock star Ben Folds, Ben paid homage by playing chat roulette in concert, reading one guy's sign. If you turn your head, I win. <laughs> ah. When the guy gave up his name, Ben brought in the crowd. Bobby! 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 You win. What does Merton say about Ben's ode to him? I love it. I think it's so funny. You know, we're really having a good, uh, um... Oh! Hey, man! Sitting on the toilet! And that may well be where Chat Roulette is headed. On the can. <laughs> is everything coming out all right? No one ever takes me seriously, and now you guys are laughing hilariously. Ginny Mo, CNN. New York. That's all we have for you on this week's edition of Fast Track. Have a wonderful week, everyone.